Replace root 22. Root 352 minus root 22. So, got to see how many times 22 goes into 352 now. Anybody got an idea how many times 22 goes into 352? Yep. Not 6. Uh, 12. 20. It doesn't end or a 5 or 0. 14. Close. 15. 15. 16. 16. 16. 16 times 22 is 352. You should ideally be looking for a number that's a perfect square here, because that's the way it's going to work. Right. So, root 16. What's the square root of 16? 4. 4. So that's the same as 4 root 22. So if I have 4 root 22s and I take away a root 22, how many root 22s do I have left? Zero, three, three. I have 3 root 22s left. So that being said then, if 4 root 22 minus root 22 is 3 root 22s, what number would be in front of that root 22? A 1, exactly. That's like there's a 1 there. We've had that happen many times where we put a fake 1 in front. Not a fake one, but one that wasn't there to start. All right. Now, in the last one, question? Yeah, I don't really get it. Which part? Um, <coughs> you're telling them now? Do you understand why 17 huh? times 4 is 68? Why 8 times 4? Wait, where are we at? What? You understand that 17 times 4 is 68? You understand that 8 times 25 is 200? All right, so then that part's fine. All right, do you understand how I'm changing the square root of 4 into 2? Yes, you understand that. Okay, and there, there are some parts of this you get. And you understand here that I brought the 2 out, and there was this 9 already here, so I had to put them together by multiplying. So I did 9 times 2, which is 18. And then I left the root 17 behind. I added it. This was 4 root 17 plus, eight, uh, plus 18 root 17, which is 22 root 17. Get it? All right. Now, you're looking at the last one, and you're saying, well, wait a minute. 54 doesn't go into 150. What's the deal? can also happen that you have to change both of them, which is the trickiest of all. all right. What do we know about 54? Well, we know 54 Even is number. 1 times 54. We know it's 2 times uh, 27. We know all that. But the one that's going to do us the most good is 9 times 6. Why 9 four. times 6? Because because think about four. it. The square root of 9 is a perfect square. Three. Right. So, again, you're looking for perfect square. So this is going to work out to be 9 times 6 out there. All right. 150 then. Right. If I've got 6, which is what I want to work with, 6 times what is 150? Uh, 55. 11. No, it's 66. Way too small. 6 times 5 is 30. 23. 15, you're getting closer. 35. What did you say? 19. 35 is too big. No, can't be. it ends at a zero. Can't 30, be. Oh, 20. 25. 30. 25, thank you. All right. 150 <laughs> is 25 times 6. Well, let's go through. Square root of 25. What's the square root of 25? 5. 5. So this is the same as 5. Five. Root 6. Okay. 9 times 6. Square root of 9. 3. 3. So that's the same as 3 root 6. And there was subtraction there, so I'm subtracting those. 5. I did the square root of 9. 9 times 6 is 54. 5 root 6 minus 3 root 6 is 12. That's 12. All right, so I've got two things to give you today. All right. This first thing, 
This first thing is not a worksheet you have to do any work on. This is simply a list of square roots for you up to the 2500, which equals 50. On the back side is the half table that you will need for Monday. If you lose this, you're going to be doing a lot of extra work on Monday. So the hint is, don't lose this. I will. This table I'm giving you, the side with the big black line down the middle, you have to read it from right to left. Like a Chinese book. Right? Oh, at the table, not words. What's this? Is this what it is? Or Japanese. 